Chapter 1, Beginnings The city hummed with life as I made my way through the crowded streets of New York. Tall buildings towered overhead, casting long shadows on the bustling sidewalks below. I pulled my coat tighter around me, the chill of the early morning air seeping through the fabric. It was a typical day in the city that never slept, and yet there was something different about today. As I walked, my mind drifted to the past, to the moments that had brought me to this point. Memories flashed before my eyes like scenes from a movie, each one a fragment of a life that felt both familiar and distant. I couldn't shake the feeling that something was missing, something important that I couldn't quite grasp. Lost in thought, I stumbled upon a quaint coffee shop nestled between two towering skyscrapers. The aroma of freshly brewed coffee beckoned me inside, and I found myself drawn to the warmth and comfort it promised. I stepped through the door, the sound of laughter and chatter enveloping me as I made my way to the counter. Good morning, what can I get for you? The barista asked with a warm smile. Just a black coffee, please, I replied, my voice barely above a whisper. As I waited for my order, I couldn't help but notice a man sitting alone at a nearby table. He was engrossed in a book, his brow furrowed in concentration as he turned the pages. There was something about him that caught my attention, something familiar yet elusive. Before I could dwell on it further, my coffee arrived, and I took a seat by the window, savoring the first sip of the steaming brew. Lost in thought, I didn't notice when the man approached my table, his eyes alight with curiosity. Mind if I join you? he asked, gesturing to the empty chair across from me. I hesitated for a moment, caught off guard by his sudden appearance, but something in his gaze put me at ease. Sure, why not, I replied, a small smile tugging at the corners of my lips. As he settled into the chair opposite mine, a comfortable silence fell between us, broken only by the soft murmur of the bustling coffee shop. And in that moment, amidst the chaos of the city, I felt a connection, however fleeting, that stirred something deep within me. It was the beginning of something new, something I couldn't yet comprehend, but I knew, deep down, that it was meant to be. Chapter 2 The Encounter The morning sun painted the city's streets in a golden hue as I found myself once again drawn to the familiar comfort of the coffee shop. As I stepped inside, the scent of freshly ground beans filled the air, wrapping around me like a warm embrace. I made my way to the counter, my mind still lingering on the encounter from the day before. Good morning, the usual. The barista greeted me with a friendly smile. Yes, please, I replied, returning the smile with a grateful nod. With my coffee in hand, I scanned the room, searching for a familiar face amidst the sea of strangers. And there he was, sitting at the same table as before, lost in a book with an intensity that was both captivating and mysterious. Summoning a courage I didn't know I possessed, I made my way over to his table, my heart pounding in my chest with each step. As I approached, he looked up from his book, his eyes meeting mine with a spark of recognition. Mind if I join you again? I asked, my voice steady despite the fluttering in my stomach. A smile tugged at the corners of his lips, and he nodded, gesturing to the empty chair across from him. I took a seat, the warmth of his presence washing over me like a gentle wave. I'm Ethan. He introduced himself, extending a hand across the table. Lully, I replied, shaking his hand with a smile of my own. We fell into conversation effortlessly, exchanging stories and sharing laughter, as the hours slipped by unnoticed. There was a familiarity between us, a sense of ease that made it feel as though we had known each other for a lifetime. As the day turned to evening and the coffee shop began to empty out, Ethan glanced at his watch with a sheepish smile. I hate to cut this short, but I have to run, he said, pushing back his chair and gathering his belongings. It's okay, I should probably get going too, I replied, feeling a pang of disappointment at the thought of saying goodbye so soon. But before I could dwell on it further, Ethan leaned in close, his gaze searching mine with a newfound intensity. Can I see you again? he asked, his voice barely above a whisper. And in that moment, amidst the chaos of the city, I knew that this was only the beginning of something extraordinary. Chapter 3 Fragments of Memory The days passed in a blur as I found myself consumed by thoughts of Ethan and the connection we shared. His presence lingered in the corners of my mind a constant reminder of the encounter that had changed everything. But amidst the whirlwind of emotions, there was something else stirring within me, something deeper and more elusive. It began with a dream, a fleeting glimpse of a memory buried deep within the recesses of my mind. Faces blurred together in a haze of confusion as fragments of a life I couldn't quite remember danced before my eyes. There was a sense of urgency, a feeling that these memories held the key to unlocking the mysteries of my past. Night after night, the dreams persisted, each one revealing a new piece of the puzzle. 
faces became clearer. Voices whispered secrets long forgotten, and emotions surged to the surface with an intensity that left me breathless. It was as though a veil had been lifted, revealing a world that had been hidden from me for so long. Desperate for answers, I confided in Ethan, sharing the details of my dreams in the hope that he could help make sense of them. His expression was one of concern and understanding, his eyes reflecting the same curiosity that burned within me. It's like I'm remembering things that never happened, I confessed, my voice tinged with uncertainty. Ethan reached out, his hand finding mine with a reassuring squeeze. Maybe there's more to your past than you realize, he suggested, his voice gentle yet filled with conviction. And in that moment, I knew that I wasn't alone in this journey. With Ethan by my side, I was determined to unravel the mysteries of my past and discover the truth that lay hidden within the fragments of my memory. Chapter 4. Unveiling the Past the weight of uncertainty hung heavy in the air as Ethan, and I delved deeper into the enigma of my forgotten past. Armed with determination and a newfound sense of purpose, we embarked on a journey to uncover the truth that lay hidden beneath the surface. We spent hours poring over old photographs and documents, piecing together the fragments of my memory like a puzzle waiting to be solved. Each clue brought us closer to unraveling the mysteries of my past. Yet with each revelation came more questions than answers. It's like I'm seeing glimpses of a life I never knew existed, I mused, my voice filled with wonder and confusion. Ethan nodded in understanding, his gaze never wavering from the task at hand. There's something here, Lily, something important, he replied, his voice tinged with excitement. And so, pressed on, determined to unearth the secrets that had been buried for so long. But as the hours turned to days and the days turned to weeks, the weight of the past bore down on me like a heavy burden, threatening to consume me whole. I don't know if I can do this, I confessed, the doubt creeping in like a shadow at dusk. But Ethan was steadfast in his belief, his unwavering support a beacon of light in the darkness that threatened to engulf us. You're stronger than you realize, Lily, he reassured me, his voice filled with confidence. And in that moment, I knew that together, we would face whatever challenges lay ahead. For the truth, no matter how elusive, was a journey worth taking, and I was determined to see it through to the end. Chapter 5. Echoes of Love as the days passed and our quest to unravel the mysteries of my past continued Ethan, and I found ourselves drawn closer together by an invisible thread of destiny. Our bond deepened with each passing moment, weaving a tapestry of emotions that echoed the love that blossomed between us. Amidst the chaos of our search, there were moments of quiet intimacy, stolen glances and shared smiles that spoke volumes without a single word being uttered. In those fleeting moments, it was as though time stood still, the world fading away to leave only the two of us, intertwined in a dance as old as time itself. I never believed in fate until now, I confessed one evening, my voice barely above a whisper. Ethan turned to me, his eyes reflecting the same sentiment that echoed in my heart. Sometimes, the universe has a way of bringing two souls together, he replied, his voice soft with emotion. And in that moment, amidst the chaos and uncertainty, I knew that our love was a force to be reckoned with. It transcended time and space, binding us together in a bond that was as unbreakable as it was undeniable. As we continued our journey, hand in hand, I found solace in the warmth of Ethan's embrace, his presence a constant reminder that no matter what challenges lay ahead, we would face them together. For in each other, we had found not only love, but also the strength to overcome any obstacle that stood in our way. And so, amidst the echoes of the past and the promise of the future, our love story unfolded, a testament to the power of love in all its forms. For in the end, it was love that guided us through the darkness and into the light, where our hearts beat as one, forever entwined in the echoes of love. Chapter 6. Dark Shadows As our journey to uncover the truth of my past progressed, shadows began to creep into the corners of our lives, casting doubt and uncertainty over everything we thought we knew. The weight of the unknown pressed down on us like heavy fog, obscuring the path ahead, and leaving us stumbling in the darkness. It's like the closer we get to the truth, the more elusive it becomes, I confessed to Ethan one evening, the frustration evident in my voice. He reached out, his hand finding mine in a comforting gesture of solidarity. We can't give up now, Lily, he urged, his voice tinged with determination. We've come too far to turn back. But despite his words of encouragement, the shadows continued to loom overhead, threatening to engulf us in their suffocating embrace. Doubt crept into our minds like a whisper in the night, sowing seeds of fear and uncertainty that threatened to tear us apart. It's like someone doesn't want us to find the truth, I mused aloud, 
my voice heavy with resignation. Ethan's expression darkened, his eyes reflecting the same sense of foreboding that gnawed at my soul. There are forces at play here that we don't fully understand, he replied, his voice low and ominous. And in that moment, the realization hit me like a bolt of lightning, illuminating the darkness with a clarity that sent shivers down my spine. There were dark forces at work, shadows lurking in the depths of my past that threatened to consume us both if we weren't careful. But as the darkness closed in around us, I clung to Ethan's hand with a newfound sense of determination. For in his touch, I found the strength to face the shadows that lurked within and emerge victorious on the other side. Together, we would confront the darkness and reclaim the light that had been stolen from us, for our love was a beacon of hope in a world shrouded in darkness. Chapter 7 Into the Unknown As the shadows of uncertainty loomed larger, Ethan and I stood on the precipice of the unknown, facing a journey fraught with danger and intrigue. With determination burning bright within us, we embarked on a path that would lead us deeper into the heart of the mysteries surrounding my past. The air crackled with tension as we delved deeper into the labyrinth of secrets that had long been buried. Every step forward felt like a leap into the abyss, the uncertainty of what lay ahead hanging heavy in the air. Are you sure you want to do this? Ethan asked, his voice tinged with concern as he glanced at me. I nodded, my resolve unwavering despite the fear that gnawed at my insides. I need to know the truth, Ethan, I replied, my voice steady despite the tremble in my hands. And so, we pressed on, our footsteps echoing through the darkness as we ventured into the unknown. With each passing moment, the sense of foreboding grew stronger, a tangible presence that seemed to wrap around us like a suffocating blanket. But amidst the fear and uncertainty, there was also a glimmer of hope, a beacon of light that shone bright in the darkness. For in each other, Ethan and I found strength and courage beyond measure, a bond forged in the fires of adversity. As we navigated the twists and turns of the unknown, I felt a sense of clarity wash over me, a newfound determination to confront the demons that haunted my past. For I knew that no matter what challenges lay ahead, Ethan would be by my side, his unwavering support a constant reminder that together, we could overcome anything. And so, with hearts filled with hope and minds set on the horizon, we ventured forth into the unknown, ready to face whatever trials awaited us on the other side. For in the depths of the unknown lay the answers we sought, and together, we would uncover the truth that had long been buried in the shadows. Chapter 8 A Beacon of Light In the midst of the darkness that surrounded us, Ethan emerged as a beacon of light, guiding me through the shadows with unwavering support and boundless love. His presence was a source of comfort in the face of uncertainty, a steady hand to hold on to as we navigated the tumultuous waters of my past. As we continued our journey, Ethan's unwavering belief in me became a lifeline, a reminder that no matter how daunting the challenges it had, I was not alone. His words of encouragement echoed in my mind like a mantra, pushing me forward even when the weight of the world threatened to crush me beneath its burden. You're stronger than you realize, Lily, Ethan would often say, his voice filled with conviction. You have the power to overcome anything that stands in your way. His faith in me was unwavering, a constant reminder that even in the darkest of times, there was still hope. And in his presence, I found the courage to face the demons that haunted my past, to confront the shadows that threatened to consume me whole. I couldn't do this without you, I confessed one evening, my voice filled with gratitude. Ethan smiled, his eyes shining with love and understanding. We're in this together, Lily, he replied, his voice soft yet filled with determination. No matter what happens, I'll always be by your side. And in that moment, amidst the chaos and uncertainty, I knew that together, Ethan, and I could weather any storm. For in his love, I found the strength to rise above the darkness and embrace the light that had long been hidden within me. As we forged ahead, hand in hand, I felt a sense of hope wash over me, a newfound optimism for the future that lay ahead. For with Ethan by my side, I knew that no matter what trials awaited us, we would face them together, our love a beacon of light in the darkness that surrounded us. Chapter 9 Whispers of Betrayal As we delved deeper into the mysteries of my past, whispers of betrayal began to echo through the corridors in our lives, casting doubt and suspicion over everything we held dear. The once stolid ground beneath our feet began to tremble, shaken by the revelation of secrets long buried and truths left unspoken. I felt a knot form in the pit of my stomach as suspicions crept into my mind, threatening to tear apart the fragile fabric of trust that bound us together. The whispers grew louder with each passing day, their venomous words poisoning the wellspring of hope that had sustained us thus far. I don't know who to trust anymore. 
I confessed to Ethan one evening, my voice laced with uncertainty. He reached out, his touch gentle yet filled with a silent promise. We'll get through this together, Blelly, he assured me, his voice steady despite the turmoil that raged within. But even his unwavering support couldn't silence the doubts that gnawed in my soul, the fear of betrayal casting a shadow over our once bright future. As we sifted through the fragments of my past, I couldn't shake the feeling that someone was pulling the strings from behind the scenes, orchestrating a web of deceit that threatened to ensnare us both. Trust became a scarce commodity, a precious gem buried beneath layers of doubt and suspicion. It's like someone has been lying to us all along, Ethan mused one evening, his brow furrowed in thought. I nodded in agreement, the weight of his words hanging heavy in the air between us. But who? I whispered the question lingering on my lips like a prayer unanswered. And in that moment, amidst the whispers of betrayal and the shadows that lurked in the corners of our lives, I knew that the path ahead would be fraught with danger and uncertainty. But with Ethan by my side, I was determined to face whatever trials awaited us, for our love was a beacon of light in the darkness, guiding us through the storm with unwavering strength and boundless courage. Chapter 10 Revelations In the midst of turmoil and uncertainty, the veil of deception began to unravel, revealing truths that had long been hidden in the shadows. As Ethan and I dug deeper into the labyrinth of my past, we unearthed secrets that shook the very foundation of our reality, leaving us reeling in their wake. The air crackled with tension as we poured over documents and pieced together the fragments of my history, each revelation more shocking than the last. Faces from the past resurfaced, their presence a haunting reminder of the darkness that had long lurked beneath the surface. This changes everything, Ethan murmured, his voice filled with a mixture of disbelief and determination. I nodded in agreement, the weight of the revelations pressing down on me like a heavy burden. But what would you now? I asked, my voice tinged with uncertainty. Ethan reached out, his hand finding mine in a gesture of reassurance. We keep going, he replied, his gaze unwavering. We can't let this stop us from finding the truth. And so, with newfound resolve, we pressed on, determined to confront the demons of the past head-on. As we delved deeper into the mysteries that surrounded us, I felt a sense of clarity wash over me, a newfound understanding of the journey that lay ahead. It's like pieces of a puzzle falling into place, I mused aloud, my voice filled with wonder. Ethan smiled, his eyes shining with pride. We're getting closer, Lally, he replied, his voice filled with conviction. I can feel it. And in that moment, amidst the chaos and uncertainty, I knew that no matter what trials awaited us, Ethan, and I would face them together. For our love was a beacon of hope in the darkness, guiding us through the storm with unwavering strength and boundless courage. Chapter 11 Forging Ahead As the revelations of the past settled around us, like dust after a storm, Ethan, and I found ourselves standing at a crossroads, faced with the choice of how to proceed. The weight of our discoveries hung heavy in the air, but amidst the turmoil there was also a sense of clarity and purpose that guided our steps forward. We can't let this define us, Ethan said one evening, his voice filled with determination as we sat together, poring over the evidence of our findings. I nodded in agreement, the resolve shining bright in his eyes reflected in my own. We've come too far to turn back now, I replied, echoing his sentiment. And so, with our hearts set on the horizon and our minds focused on the path ahead, we forged onward, determined to confront the challenges that lay in wait. But the road ahead was not without its obstacles. And as we journeyed deeper into the unknown, we encountered trials that tested our resolve and pushed us to the brink of despair. It's like the universe is conspiring against us. I lamented one evening, the weight of our struggles pressing down on me like heavy burden. Ethan reached out, his touch a comforting anchor in the storm. We'll find a way through this, Lally, he reassured me, his voice steady despite the uncertainty that surrounded us. And in that moment, amidst the chaos and uncertainty, I found solace in his words a beacon of hope in the darkness that threatened to consume us both. As we pressed onward, hand in hand, I knew that no matter what trials awaited us, Ethan, and I would face them together. For our love was a fortress in the storm, a sanctuary of strength and resilience that would see us through even the darkest of days. And so, with hearts filled with hope and minds set on the future, we forged ahead into the unknown, ready to confront whatever challenges lay ahead with unwavering determination and boundless courage. Chapter 12. Faltering Faith As we continued our journey, the weight of our struggles began to take its toll, and cracks began to form in the foundation of our resolve. Doubt crept into our hearts like a thief in the night, sowing seeds of uncertainty that threatened to tear us apart. 
I don't know if I can do this anymore. I confessed to Ethan one evening, my voice heavy with the weight of our burdens. He reached out, his touch a reassuring presence in the darkness that surrounded us. We've come too far to give up now, Lily, he replied, his voice filled with conviction. We can't let our doubts hold us back. But despite his words of encouragement, the doubts lingered like a shadow, their whispers growing louder with each passing day. The road ahead seemed daunting and uncertain, a maze of twists and turns that threatened to lead us astray. It's like we're fighting a losing battle, I lamented, the frustration evident in my voice. Evan's expression softened, his eyes reflecting the same sense of weariness that weighed heavily on my soul. We're stronger than we realize, Lally, he reassured me, his voice filled with a quiet determination. We just have to keep pushing forward. And so, with faltering faith and weary hearts, we pressed on, clinging to the flickering flame of hope that burned bright within us. But as the days turned into weeks and the weeks turned into months, the challenges seemed to grow ever more insurmountable, testing our resolve in ways we never thought possible. It's okay to be scared, Ethan whispered one evening, his voice a gentle reminder of the strength that lay within us. But we can't let our fear dictate our actions. And in that moment, amidst the darkness and uncertainty, I found solace in his words, a glimmer of hope in the depths of despair. For no matter how daunting the challenges that lay ahead, Ethan and I would face them together, our love a beacon of light in the darkness, guiding us through the storm with unwavering strength and boundless courage. Chapter 13 Resilience As the trials of our journey threatened to overwhelm us, Ethan and I found within ourselves a resilience we never knew we possessed. With each setback, each obstacle placed in our path, we rose to the challenge with unwavering determination, refusing to be defeated by the darkness that sought to engulf us. It's like every time we think we've reached our limit, we find a way to keep going, I mused one evening, my voice filled with awe at the strength we had discovered within ourselves. Ethan nodded in agreement, his eyes shining with pride. We're stronger together, Lely, he replied, his voice filled with conviction. We can overcome anything as long as we have each other. And so, with hearts filled with hope and minds set on the future, we pressed onward, determined to face whatever trials awaited us with unwavering resolve. But the road ahead was fraught with challenges, and as we journeyed deeper into the unknown, the shadows of doubt threatened to consume us. Yet with each step forward, we found within ourselves a strength that defied the odds, a resilience born of love and determination. It's like nothing can stop us, Ethan remarked one evening, his voice tinged with wonder. I smiled, the weight of our struggles lifting from my shoulders with each passing moment. Because we have each other, I replied, my voice filled with gratitude. And in that moment, amidst the chaos and uncertainty, I knew that no matter what trials awaited us, Ethan and I would face them together, our love a beacon of light in the darkness, guiding us through the storm with unwavering strength and boundless courage. Chapter 14 New Beginnings As we emerged from the darkness of our trials, Ethan and I stood on the threshold of a new beginning, ready to embrace the future with open hearts and unwavering resolve. The weight of the past no longer bore down on us like a burden, but instead, served as a stepping stone to the possibilities that lay ahead. It feels like a weight has been lifted, I confessed to Ethan one evening, my voice filled with relief as we gazed out at the city skyline. He nodded in agreement, a smile playing at the corners of his lips. We've been through so much together, Lally, he replied, his voice filled with pride, but look how far we've come. And as we stood there, hand in hand, I felt a sense of peace wash over me, a calm amidst the chaos that had once threatened to consume us whole. Because of you, I whispered, turning to him with tears glistening in my eyes. Evan's gaze softened, his love for me shining bright in the depths of his eyes. Because of us, he corrected gently, pulling me into his embrace. And in that moment, amidst the echoes of the past and the promise of the future, I knew that no matter what challenges lay ahead, Ethan and I would face them together, our love a beacon of hope in a world filled with uncertainty. As we stepped into the dawn of a new day, I felt a sense of excitement bubbling up within me, a thrill at the endless possibilities that stretched out before us. Here's to new beginnings, Ethan said, raising his glass in a silent toast. To us, I replied, clinking my glass against his with a smile. And as we set out to embrace the future hand in hand, I knew that no matter what adventures awaited us, Ethan and I would face them together, our love a guiding light in the darkness, illuminating the path ahead with unwavering strength and boundless courage.